No. No, you were just talking, and it was brilliant. It was brilliant. No, you were explaining it to me, and it was great. I was fangirling out about sock construction. I was about a half a step away from a squee about Cat Bordy and how she's a genius. And you don't think the yarn harlot is funny. I didn't say I didn't think she was funny. I said I didn't like her delivery on the audiobook that I heard. You do not properly understand okay. Stephanie Perlmixy. I don't okay. Do I not understand the knit audiobook milieu? I mean I don't Mill really? <laughs> well, <that's, laughs> I mean, I guess I don't. I, I mean, I, I don't understand the genre. No, it's her voice. She's got that great voice, <laughs> okay, and she's got her little that's, Canadianisms. Okay, I that guess that's says. where we disagree. Yes, yeah, no, I guess got that's that. where we disagree. And when she says things that are so universally true to the obsessive knitter soul, and it it breaks your heart and makes you cry a little bit on the inside and giggle like a lunatic at the same time. I am holding her to the Sarah Vowell standard. Okay, not everybody can be lispy like Sarah Vowell. So, no, it has nothing to do with the list. But she is the Sarah Vowell of knitting. That's, okay. She I mean, is. She am, is. I, am I holding her to, in general, not just in the genre, in general, am I holding her to too high a bar to compare her to Sarah Vowell and Sarah Vowell's audiobooks? No, I think you're, com you're you, you are comparing apples to apples, but your understanding of one kind of apple is, is flawed. This, okay, so it's like crab apple versus Granny Smith. Uh, no. Apples, apples, but not the same. No, apples from different trees, and you've never seen this other tree. You cannot fully comprehend the beauty of a. I wouldn't. I mean, okay, so is it more like orchids? Then, because an apple is pretty much an apple. Perhaps not really. There's lots of apples. You are well, that's why I was from the Pacific Northwest. No, I no, the but Pacific they're all Northwest. easily identifiable as an apple. If you've seen it, you kind of go, oh, that's an apple. That yeah. one is green. That one is okay. red. That so one is we'll take speckled. Orchid. Sarah Val, definitely an orchid. She is. She is very funny. She's very witty. She has a very interesting voice, and she's very knowledgeable on her topic, right? And she has a a great ability to take something that is completely incomprehensible to 90% of society and make it something that you can understand. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, absolutely. The yarn harlot does the same thing. Well, no, but, I mean... It, but if, unlike general American history that some people have at least some vague notion of and they can, they can at least pick up on the occasional name, um, if you know nothing of knitting, it will not make sense to you. That is the beauty of the yarn harlot because she speaks only to those of us who are, and not even the casual knitter. Even the casual knitter would be like, I don't get it. I don't, you know, it's just, it's just sticks and strings. But this, this particular brand of crazy, it, it, it speaks to a certain part of us in the same way that Sarah Val speaks to a certain kind, well, this kind of crazy for history and politics and that sort of thing. And it took a while to get used to Sarah Val's voice, too. Like, that's the thing. It's really hard to try to understand the nuances of, of uh, the early American history with a list, just as it is difficult to understand what? She has a list, not a hair lip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but... Come on. Anyway, she she did the Incredibles for the for the love of God, and she played a child, which is fine. But I mean, it's not like she was incomprehensible. No, I mean it's not like she has harlot. a speech impediment. No, but I'm, I'm not saying the yarn harlot does. I mean, being Canadian doesn't count, does it? <laughs> Anyways, every knitter that I've ever met that is as into knitting as I am that has listened to the yarn harlot has been equally impressed with her audiobooks. Most people that I know prefer the audiobooks over the written books. While I really enjoy the written books as well and have often read them as well as listened to them, I much prefer to listen to the Yarn Harlot tell me all the funny things that she thinks while I'm doing the thing that we both love. I find that particularly uh, wonderful. And Fair enough. So, I mean, I guess that would be like studying history while you were listening to Sarah Val. 
which would be a little awkward and weird. It would be a little awkward and weird. But if you were, say, walking around uh, New England, taking in the stuff, I don't know, I'm not good at history. <laughs> I, you know, you're at Plymouth Rock and you're looking at plaques and shit and you're listening to Sarah Val tell you why that's important. That would be kind of cool, right? Okay, fair enough. Absolutely. Okay. That would be fantastic. Yeah. So, so if Sarah Val did like a guided audio tour of like Boston, that is a tour I would go on. And in the same way, this is why I would like to go spend four days in Madrona with the Yarn Harlot and Cookie A and all of my other sock knitting Zen masters.